Hi friends, it's Mrs. McCarver and it's time for today's writing lesson. For the last couple of weeks, we've talked all about different types of informational writing, like books that teach you all about something or books that teach you how to do something. So today I'm going to quickly review the steps that you would follow to write one of these types of writing so you can start a new piece. And then I'm going to talk to you about something you can do to make your writing even better at the end. So the first thing we do when we start a new piece of writing is to make a plan. We're going to think about the topic that we want to teach someone about and decide if we're going to do a how-to or an informational book. So this might be a time where you get your bubble map back out and think about which type of paper you need. Then you can start to point and say what will go on each page or in each box. Then your next job is to draw. We want to get our sketches or pictures on the page so we remember what we are planning. After that, we can add labels to help us figure out some of those words we're going to use when we get to step four, which is to write. So step one, plan what's going to be in each part draw the pictures for step two, step three is label, and step four is write. Now, sometimes it takes us more than one day to do all of these things, but other times it might just be something you can write in one day. A how-to book or how-to writing sometimes is a little bit quicker. And now I want us to think about what happens when we get to the end of our writing. When you're watching a movie or running a race or reading a book, how do you know you're at the end? If you're running a race, you might see a finish line. If you're watching a show or a movie, sometimes it says the end. When we finish a book, we're usually on the last page, but we can add some things to our writing to make it even better. Sometimes we add what we would call a closing to the end of our writing instead of just adding a last page or a last part. So today I'm gonna to show you how I might add a closing to my how-to writing or my all about writing. All right, friends, so here I have two different books that I've worked on and I'm going to add a closing sentence or statement to kind of wrap things up. First, let's look at my how-to, how to plant flowers. Step one, first you dig a shallow hole in the dirt with a shovel. Step two, next you sprinkle a few seeds in the hole. Step three, after that you use the shovel to cover the seeds with dirt. Step four, finally make sure the seeds get sun and water. So a way I could end this writing is to say something like give my reader some advice or maybe a tip or something like, I hope you enjoy growing flowers. I'm gonna go with that. I hope you enjoy growing flowers. Because I want them to follow my steps and then come out with growing flowers. Another way I could add or finish my all about books, remember I wrote this one about dogs. Dogs are animals, some dogs are big and some dogs are little. Dogs have four legs and a tail. Dogs can bark or growl. So instead of ending with just another fact, maybe I'm going to add a page and Tell my reader that they would like to have a dog as a pet. Dogs are great pets. Dogs are great pets. You should get one. Because I wrote this book because I like dogs and I think they're great. So maybe giving a recommendation at the end is a way I can end my book. These are just two examples of how you can add an ending sentence to your informational writing. Now you saw how I added a closing sentence to my writing. 
When you get to the end of your next informational book, think about how you might show the reader this is the end of your story by writing a closing statement.